Okay. Getting sanded down here. Let's see what do we got? Can we see this? I guess so. Wooden block. Smoothing this out. Flattening it out. And at the same time, we're sanding that molding down below with the edge of this block here. Let me show you over here. Let me put this camera right here. It's hard to do inside the piano. And there we have it. There's that lump we filled. Still proud to fill her. Here's a wooden block. Get rid of that bump. And then we'll be ready to fill out this. But I want to show you this thing right here. This shallow finish that's along the top of the molding. You just take the wooden block right up against it and point it off like so. So it gets right in the corner, this corner here. And it fills up right away, so you gotta change the paper a lot. But what it does is gonna take the shatter off the top corner. If you can see that, if I can hold the camera right, there we go. Right there. And we'll get rid of those mummy lips, if you wanna call them that. And it's all around the edge here, so we're gonna do that. And uh, flatten this out, and then we'll uh, see what it looks like with some shellacky on there. Okay, this has got uh, some silica in it, I guess, because my mixture was already made. Anyway. So we'll do the molding at the same time. Polish it up. There, see? Repaired those fractures in the finish and I got a couple little spots I could uh, just touch those with a sharpie and you'd never see them but let me get some more of this stuff on here oh, this is pretty wet Let's see if I can grab this camera come over here and just hold it steady and see we'll take this and push it right into the corner there like that see so it's, it's actually wet in the corner. You gotta watch it not to run it all over the place. But you wanna push the silica and the shellac right down into that crevice. Right there. See? Of course, I'm holding the camera. I'm gonna not hold the camera here and continue doing this. Right there. You gotta push it in. My, my rag is too dry now. See how nice that corner is going to look now. This shellac here is going to melt some more of this boo boo's in. And we'll come back and look at it. That's what I'm doing. Okay, here we go again. Several coats of shellac. 220 paper. Can you see that? I guess it will. Pressing pretty hard too. See all the high spots coming out, boy. It's a lot of them. We're gonna stand them down as much as I dare. Go and go and go until I think I'm going through the finish again. And stop there, of course.
for wearing through right there. Stop. I'm wearing through. Watch me wear through. Okay, that's enough for this time. I'm gonna polish this again right now. Build up some finish on there with silicone. This time, charge it up good. You got a lot of silica in here. And okay, baby, let's pour it out. Like so. There we go. Pretty thick. This time, put them on here, a couple drops. That's good, maybe one there too. Not much. It's good. Let it stick. Put some down here. Can't look like this area. But we're getting there. This is the foundation for what's to come. A little more polishing here and there, and then we gotta sand it down again. We're getting there. A little color, color magic maybe. What? See, we're starting to build the finish back up. And I'm gonna be doing that, that same thing for a little while, so. Don't need to watch it. Funny, this camera can see better than I can. Anyways, we get the side here. That was done. And I was doing the back side here. That was a real disaster. A couple days. Anyways, this needs some more here. That's what we're going to do. Got the inside here all patched up. That corner was all beat up. Looks pretty good now. Everything looks pretty good. Just got to go over everything here. I know it looks bad. Oh, what a nice finish. I'm going to scratch it all up. Pretty rough paper. This is 220. But after this... We won't do this no more. Whoops. Beat the dust out of it. See if you don't wipe the 
the linseed oil off. I did it last night. I wiped it off with water. The rag and actually washed it down. Seems awful to scratch up the finish, huh? But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go easy this time. Up here we'll go easy because it's already flat. See? We don't have to do anything anymore. It's flat enough, very flat. What we're gonna do, sand it down like this, the whole thing. See, so it's flat like that. And after that, we're gonna take care of this boo-boo here. This boo-boo here, and that one down there. This was actually ripped up here, this. And when we piano came in, we fixed it right away. Boy, it had some pretty bad things here. There's a boob, there's a dent right there. Anyways, this was a mess. And we have some coloring to do. These light spots is where the finish was missing and the sun bleached it back there. So we're gonna take a paintbrush and just color those in a little bit. But other than that, everything's fine. We have some more leveling to do here. That's for sure. But most of this is good. This After this sanding, it'll be ready for a, a good finished polishing. But see, I got some real bad stuff down here, which is gonna sand out right now. Let's see if I can't get this in the camera. Seems kind of crude some rough paper but we want to flatten this out we need the rough paper speeds everything up so here we go same thing I did the other day so well, two days well yesterday but this time we have enough finish built up that it's going to really flatten it out. So I'm going to be doing this for a while. Around the corner. It's going to be really good this time. Each time we do it, we don't have to spend so much time at it because it's getting repaired. It's filling up. See the corner starting to even up now. Smooth. See all the low spots that's what I'm trying to work out they don't have to be out a hundred percent but they'll be out enough that it'll be acceptable <laughs> let's put it that way Anyways, I'm going to do this to the whole, the whole back side here, and then uh, we'll see what it looks like. See, it's starting, starting to get rid of all these little low spots. That's good. Okay, baby. See, there's some there, those shiny spots, the dark spots. We can get rid of those. 
Okay. We'll do it. So much reflection down here, it's difficult to get, get it to look right. And what I want to show you right now is the progress on this back end of the piano here. And you can see you got my light reflecting in there. It's difficult. I'd have to turn it. But anyways, it's full. And it was a mess. Big time mess. The other, well, just two days ago. See in here. I got all those lumps out. Right now, I have oil on here, linseed oil on here, a little film still. Look at a boo-boo right there. This should be uh, washed off with water, warm water. That's all you need. But what I'm going to do right now is take care of this design here. It's terrible. The finish got all, some of it was chipped out of here right down to the bottom. And this little bead here. See, I took a chisel right here and I scraped it off because it is so, like, thick and blobby. See it there? That's rough. I could sand, take a lot of sanding to get this off here. So this is solid rosewood. I'm not worried about. See how smooth it's going to be here with the chisel taking it off. And then we can take care of these rounds in here with a dowel and some sandpaper. And in here also, this round. What a mess. So I'm gonna put this down here. And we'll show you what I'm doing. Right there. Okay, okay, we can see it pretty good. Just for a few seconds. And I'll take a little chisel like this and go right in here. Scrape the finish off carefully. It just flies off with a sharp chisel. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to do the top one, too. See, we have this flat surface here. It's going to be nice now. The detail will show. And right here, it's all yuck. So we'll get this out of here, like so. Clean that right out. Got a nice, fresh flat surface without too much finish blobbing it up okay get that out of there there's that smell again doesn't smell like resin mentioned once that it doesn't have an odor when you're working it but not like I'm used to this is like old furniture fit material so anyways this is what we do see clean out nice and clean and then I'm gonna do this in here mm. Sandpaper, I think, and a dowel to get these. So we'll come back. Oops, shit. Look at that. Oh. I knew that would happen. Maybe. Okay, scraped off these things. Chisel jumped off and scraped my finish off here which I'm not too happy about. We can put it back and see all those lumps in there. Okay, what I did was this. I made this little 
sanding block thing here. Flattened out a dowel and glued the sandpaper to it. The sticky paper is really handy. I used to have to do this with hide glue. Well, glue. And anyways, I just take this, this half around. If you can see that, we'll fit right in here like so. And just plain that flat. Pretty rough paper, 220. We don't want to mess around. We want to take that finish almost all the way off. We got to smooth that out. We can turn it over and get the other side, which is pretty cool. Um, anyways, this will do the job very nicely in here. Very sharp corner here. Gets right in here. And it's doing a good job already, I can see. Have to do this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that long side over there needs this, needs some of this also. And during the assembly of the rest of the piano, this is going to be sitting around and curing. And I can always come back to it while the restringing is being done and do some little detail work later on as it's needed okay we'll continue this for a while Just flatten that right out because this is a very important reflective surface we'll talk about that light refraction thing yes if the surface is irregular you are certainly going to see it but if it's nice and smooth, then it will reflect the light that way. So, we'll continue this for a little while. Got to get used to this camera again. See what's happening here? Just like on the side, we got low spots right there. Oh, that's a tough one. Boy. All right, we'll sand the heck out of that. And uh, smoothen this out. And this round also. Here, whoops. This one also. And this one also. This is also a curve here. In very nice, very nice little details. We'll take care of the little details here right now chickering again thought I'd uh, give another swoop around I'll pass around the case here for those who might not think it works very well take a look at this this is French polish on a really very rough case so, as you saw in the other videos, not very rough now, is it? Now, once this hardens up really good, and it is, a couple of weeks from now, I put the finished polish on here. This will be all shrunken in just right. And I'll be able to sand it down with a very fine paper this time. Not 150. And then uh, look at the nice polish. Today I'm going to do this from here all the way to here. The entire front, both the arms, the scrolls, whatever they call that, all the front and all of this has been sanded the heck out of it, prepared, and we'll do the key slip too, or this here, the key bed, and here, we'll do that too, up there, the whole front end. So, how do we start? Oh, with this, I got a paintbrush here, and what do I got? I threw a couple drops of turpentine in there. There's almost none because we have such a small area. Here's some silica. This is the jar 
I've been using to fill the sides with. There's a lot of stuff in there. In fact, it's so much stuff, it won't go in solution. So we're gonna put some of this in here. Oh, about that much. Just a little bit. There. Then we take some of this shellac solution. Throw some of it in there. Just there, give it a little extra. So we got the little turpentine in here, a little shellac, and silica. And what I'm going to do with this is see if I can't uh, dance around holding the camera and the paintbrush. But we can start over here. I'll do the scrolls with this, see? In fact, I can do the whole front. Whoops. Ah, oh, damn it. I need a assistant. Do the whole front with this. Got a little too much in here, but that's okay. I can bring it up like this and it'll suck it right up in a few seconds. This is my base. Once again, you can't get close to these spots with your shellac rag. It is very difficult to stop and turn around. <laughs> almost impossible so let's do some more here like this now, this is on bare wood now so I'm gonna have to have a little patience here also in here this is a, an area of difficulty to get this shellac right up against here so I'm gonna drag it out like this there peter it out to nothing to zero thin there I'll do that on the other side too and we'll take care of this little drip right here that don't mean nothing Just fill these grains in see here this is what this is a grain filler and a sealer with that silica in there will give me a good solid base hope you can see that put a little bit up here won't hurt nothing there And uh, we'll do the other side. Same thing, and here like this, over here. A little bit of this magic stuff. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Whoops, too much, bring it out, there we go. Put this on the tripod after. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. There, seal that up nice. Go over this. Um, we can't really use sandpaper in there. Uh, some of that cloth paper is pretty cool stuff. That newfangled stuff been around for a few years, but not too long. Like cloth back paper, you can actually squish that up and put it between there. But what else? I think just steel wool in between here afterwards, just dull as down because they don't, you don't need much finish on here. It just has to match the rest of the case. There. Uh-oh, something fell down. Anyways, we're gonna do this now with the cloth and I have to get it. And we're gonna use this smush. All this has been done already, but the mush the silica filler. I'm going to use it for here and along the front of the key bed and here. First, I'm going to hit that with that silica mixture. So, okay. Okay. This is what we did. A little shellac -y. A little strong. And we need our board here, wherever it went. Here it is here. Just to wipe some off on it. Dobble board, there. And we're gonna give these another shot here on the end. Just go quick. They start to build up some nice finish on there. I didn't, I did not steel wool them. I, this is like two minutes looked. <laughs> three minutes later just to get some finish on there and here because it's tough to get right in this spot put a little bit there 
and this corner here especially put it in drag it out in the corner get that nice and shiny in there let that dry a little bit if you try to shellac that too fast it could be a little sticky in here so this is what I'm doing see get those spots oh here let's hit this one again this is nice here we can put a we can put a little clearer shellac on here now this is the silica mix very thick and that's my dobbing board anyways come under here like so come out put a nice coat on here it's pretty thin shellac it's thicker than a little wash coat but there always with the finger okay I'm gonna leave that dry for a few minutes and then now I'm gonna start up here I also took the liberty of putting some finish inside here with this this way see in these spots it's tough to get in here make a shellac varnish I did all my edging up here I can get with my rag when I come over the top here so we're gonna do this I did that all the way down put some shellac -y in there hard to get in these corners you got to have square fingers so next okay tripod action I guess 